Um, this project is probably one of the most fun ones for me. I've been excited about it since the beginning of this class because I had the idea so early on and knew that I was going to be doing a documentary. I was really excited for the music video project because I've done music videos before and I really enjoy those, but then actually getting out and just getting to follow Brandon with a camera, um, it was it was a lot more entertaining than I thought it would be and it was something where like I understand why people would volunteer to be cameramen on the office and stuff. I had met Brandon earlier in the semester and he just struck me as a very interesting person and after I'd known him for a week or two I realized that I had never seen him wearing anything except for pajama pants and knew early on in the semester that I was going to have to do a documentary and I decided he would make a great subject. Tonight I'm going to try to get some b-roll footage for my documentary. Um, tonight Brandon calls it Yu-Gi-Oh! Night and a bunch of the, his friends get together and play children's card game Yu-Gi-Oh! It's actually called Duel Masters, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> but we're just hoping to get a little bit of background stuff to play during the interview so that you don't have to sit there and look at the people talking the whole time. Uh, this afternoon filming Brandon across campus, it was pretty interesting. Um, I just waited for him to come out of his class at Young and just tried to walk with him and switch it up and then because you were following me to do this documentary, we had both of us like circling around Brandon like vultures and it was pretty interesting trying to keep up and stopping and filming because that's a great shot but then having to run to catch up again. So Now? I am using my friend's handheld HD camera just for B-roll stuff, but as for, far as the interviews, planning on checking out light kit, having one of the big cameras with the camera bag, everything that comes with it, having the shotgun mic and boom pole, and I'm following Brandon around tomorrow too, so I'll be carrying all of that around with me. So that's gonna be a different experience than what I've had so far with the small camera. Uh, so just finished filming and it's I have probably roughly about eight or nine hours of footage after all of that filmed a lot chased Brandon around a lot it was a lot of fun I have a lot of editing to do now <laughs> I always take too much footage and spend ridiculous amounts of time in the editing lab because of it but I'm looking forward to it So I definitely didn't anticipate the amount of time that I was going to need to take editing. I uh, planned on getting it all done in one night, sit in there for three or four hours, be done. Did the same thing with my music video. Ended up being in there two nights in a row because it took so long for all of my video clips to export. So that's all I did the first night. And then the second night, I went in as soon as classes got out of the lab, sat in the lab until it closed and then I was done. <laughs> but it's done now and I'm very excited to show it to the class. Testing, still yeah, lots of natural. testing. Because Daniel's being very picky about this. Maybe he needs to be picky, I don't know. But he's being highly picky and I can't tell the difference between the appearance of the light when he moves me over six inches, but maybe he can. And we are still testing. Um, I really want to have a conversation with the microphone, but it's okay. way up above my head. <laughs> 